Adopting an animal is a unique experience. This woman decided to adopt a senior cat, but the very next day, she returned to the shelter and did something surprising. Join us to find out what happened next. Many animals in shelters don't deserve to be there, but there often aren't enough homes for all of them. This creates a difficult situation, especially for older animals who are harder to place. This was the situation facing one woman's beloved pets. Melissa, the woman in question, adored her two cats. Max, a gift from her late husband, was brought home as a tiny ball of fluff. Her husband had received Max from a friend who adopted a pregnant shelter cat. Knowing his time was short due to illness, he didn't want to leave Melissa alone. This act ended up being his final gift to her, providing love and companionship through Max. When Melissa did lose her husband not long after, the ginger cat named Max became her constant companion. She adored him. He became like her baby, and she didn't think she needed anything else in her home. But then, when he was around five, she was surprised again. A family in the neighborhood found some abandoned kittens in the park. Because they knew that Melissa had a cat that she adored, they asked her if she would like to take in one of the little kittens. They were struggling to find them all homes, and they didn't know what to do with the smallest one of the groups. Being the soft-hearted person that Melissa was, she agreed to take her in right away, and that was how Mojo came to join the family. At first, Melissa was a little worried about the two cats and if Max would be welcoming to the new addition to the family. He had been an only child for such a long time that it would be very possible that he would not be happy with this new kitten at all. She expected that they would have to work to introduce the two cats to each other slowly and give them time to adjust. But shockingly, that wasn't how things turned out. She had just taken Mojo from the neighbors and put down the shoebox that they had brought the kitten in when Max suddenly appeared. He checked out the box and the kitten without any aggression, and then to everyone's surprise, he got into the box next to Mojo and allowed her to cuddle up next to him. It was likely just because he really wanted to share her box, but Melissa didn't care about the reasons. She was just happy that they got along so well and so quickly. There was no adjustment period. It was like Mojo had always been a part of the family, and Max was happy to have her there. Their little family was complete. Melissa missed her husband terribly, but the cats gave her something to care for and a reason to carry on. And carry on she did. Melissa and the two cats lived a good life for more than ten years after Mojo had come into their group. But then things started to change. Melissa was getting older and weaker. Her children wanted her to go into a home. But since they did not allow cats, there was no way that she was going to do that. She refused to leave Max and Mojo. Instead, they got a live and nurse to come and look after her, and that gave the children peace of mind knowing that she was not completely alone. But Melissa got sicker, and then one morning when the nurse went in to check on her, she would not wake up. Suddenly, the two cats were left all alone. They had no one else to look after them. Melissa's children all had dogs that didn't like cats so they couldn't keep their mother's beloved pets. They tried finding the two cats other homes, but that didn't go well either. They decided that they would have to give the cats up to a shelter, so one morning they took them to friends of Anne Arundel County Animal Control. Even though the two cats grew up together and had been buddies for their entire lives, they now had to be separated into two different cages, hoping that someone would adopt one of them. At that stage, Max was 16 years old already and Mojo was 11, making them senior cats and more difficult to get adopted. It was sad that the two of them had to be separated, but the shelter did it for their safety, and things were going to change very soon, at least for one of them. At around the same time that Mojo and Max came into the shelter, there was a lot of sadness in a home across town. Lucy had lost her own cat of many years, and her house felt empty. It had been a few months since this cat had died, but the emptiness just wouldn't seem to subside. Since the holiday season was approaching, Lucy knew that she was going to feel lost even more. She didn't want to replace her cat, but she did want another animal to love. If she could take a cat out of the shelter in time for the holiday season, that would be even better. She went to Friends of Anne Arundel County Animal Control with one thing in mind. This lovely lady did not want to take any younger animals that could find homes easier, so she asked to see the senior cats at the shelter. At that stage, 
They only had two, Mojo and Max. Lucy took one look at Mojo and just fell in love with her. Since the cat she lost was a boy, she also wanted to get a girl this time, just to shake things up, making Mojo the perfect choice for Lucy to take home. Since it was the day before Christmas and Lucy had previously adopted a cat from the shelter, they didn't need to do a home inspection, and she could take Mojo home right away. It was exciting leaving the shelter with her new cat, but at home, things just didn't go right. It was like Lucy and Mojo couldn't click. Mojo seemed sad, and she didn't want to allow Lucy to give her a lot of attention. She would shy away from cuddles or even just scratches. The cat wouldn't become angry when Lucy tried to pet her, but instead, she just became really withdrawn. This was not the holiday season with her new pet that Lucy had envisioned. Had she made a big mistake when adopting Mojo? There were things that were bothering her the entire time that Mojo was with her. Neither of them was completely happy with the new arrangement. Lucy decided that something had to change. So the next day, she went back to the same shelter. They were very worried when they saw her. Sadly, it is not unheard of for people to adopt an animal and then bring them back. When she told them how sad Mojo was and how things just fell off, they were even more worried. Was she bringing Mojo back to the shelter? What Lucy did surprise everyone. Instead of returning Mojo, she had a different plan. She came to the shelter to also bring Max home. Lucy couldn't bear the thought of the 16-year-old cat spending his final days in the small cage. Knowing that it would be unlikely for him to be adopted, she couldn't let that happen. Additionally, it was evident that Mojo missed her brother. Max and Mojo belonged together. This was why Lucy reunited them. The reunion was heartwarming. Max showed his gratitude by snuggling up to Lucy and hugging her. It was touching to see how happy he was to be out of the cage. But what was even more heartening was when Max and Mojo were reunited at home. The two cats were genuinely pleased to see each other. They quickly checked each other out to make sure it was really their sibling. By the next morning, they were lying close together in a sunny spot. Everything was finally right, and these two could live out their lives together in comfort, as they always should have been able to. What do you think of this incident? Let us know in the comments section. I hope you like this story. Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones. Also, press the bell icon to never miss the update from our channel. Thank you.